Hey guys, this is Shrinking Kathy here with my 52 week post op RNY update. That's right, 52 weeks. It is my one year surge anniversary today, February the 1st, 2018. It has been a very long year on the one hand, but a very short year on the other hand. I can't believe how fast the time has gone by. Um, so, you guys, a year takes a long time, except for when you have the magic of video editing. So, stay tuned for one year in less than five minutes. <laughs> All right? I'm going to put it in here. Hi, YouTube. My name is Kathy, and I am going to be getting bariatric surgery. So, this is my intro video. Anyway, I wanted to start with some stats. I haven't given any stats yet because I was kind of afraid to, but I've decided that I need to give some stats. So, I am 52 years old, I'm 5 foot 4, and I was 304 pounds at my starting weight last week when I was um, weighed at the surgeon's office. And now, I am on day 7 of my Optifast liquid protein pre-op diet, and I've lost 6 pounds in one week, so I'm really happy about that. I am down to 298 now. So, that's the beginning. I still need 2 more weeks of Optifast for a total of 3 weeks, but I'm almost there. Only 2 more weeks, guys, and, and then I'm having surgery. I'll be having my RNY in 2 weeks at St. Joseph's Health Center in Toronto. Welcome to my week three Optifast. Um, I'm actually a day early because I'm flying out to Toronto tomorrow morning, so I won't have time to do this tomorrow morning. So I have lost 23 pounds in my three weeks of Optifast. I made it, I'm alive. I had surgery this morning and now I'm in my room. I'm okay because I've just got my Premier Protein and water and I have soup broth. I'm still in a lot of pain. I can't believe I am one week post-op already. Week two. Week three post-op on my one month post-op. That's right. Today I am four weeks or one month post-op RNY surgery. Fifth week post-op RNY surgery. On my week six. Week seven. Coming to you from my bathroom. And this is Smokey. She not like all my shirt. Smokey, can you say hello? This is Smokey the bird. I am so happy to see you all this week. It is my 10th week post-op. 10 weeks. My week 11 update. No more fingers. Because it is a tongue. 11. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so goofy. Week 12 update. Um, this is my 13 week post op update. Um, welcome to my 14 week post op update. You okay? I'm here on my 16 week post op update. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I want to tell you I don't normally have a bird sitting on my chest. She's usually on my shoulder and she's not usually in every video. She was only in one other one. My week 16 post-op RNY update. 17 week post-op RNY update. With my 18 week post-op update. My 19 week post-op RNY update. With my 20 week post-op RNY update. 21 week post-op RNY update. My week 22 post-op RNY update. With my 23 week post-op RNY update. Take four. Yes, I've screwed up four times. I'm down over 100 pounds, to be exact, 100.8 pounds. Start with week 25, I think. Start with my week 26, I think, update video. Start with my week 27 post-op RNY update. With my 28 week post-op RNY update. With my 29 week post-op update. Here with my 30 week post-op RNY update. Here with my 31 week uh, post-op update. Here with my 32 week post-op RNY update. My week 34 post-op RNY update. Welcome to my 35 week post-op RNY update. I'm coming to you at my, oh my gosh, 36, I think, 37 maybe, week post-op RNY update. 
with my 38 week post op RNY update. My week 39 post op RNY update. And it is my 40 week post op RNY update. 41 week post op RNY update. With my 42 week post op RNY update. Here with my 43 week post op RNY update. With my week 44 and 45 post op RNY update. Here with my week 47, 48, and 49 week post op update. Post op RNY update. 50 week post op RNY update. Here with my 51 week post op RNY update. 52 week post op RNY update. That's right, 52 weeks. Wasn't that cool? So I have had a lot of changes this year. Um, when I was pre-op, when I was 304 pounds, my life was very different than it is now. I was sick all the time. My asthma was really bad. I am going to put a video right here showing you all the different asthma meds that I still have that I no longer need um, in my cupboard. So it's going to go right here. So this is my asthma medicine cupboard. Um, this is the only thing I still take. Ventolin. I have three of them over here. I no longer need the Advair. I no longer need the Spireva. I no longer need the Brio. Um, Flovent and Cerevent are two medicines. Oh, and one more thing. The thing I'm very happy to not need anymore, the most, is so now all I need is my Ventolin, which is a rescue inhaler, and I only need it when I'm actually sick. So if I have the flu or a cold, that will trigger my asthma, and I'll need it then. Um, if I'm around a smoker, if I inhale some smoke, or if I'm around a cat, then I will need it. Other than that, I don't need it at all. I can walk even in cold weather as long as it's warmer than minus 10 Celsius. Um, I can walk outside. If it's about minus 15, I can still go, but it, I have to cover my face with a scarf. And then I can still breathe. But anything colder than that, it will trigger my asthma. So my life has changed drastically asthma-wise. I went from someone who couldn't walk for 10 minutes, even 5 minutes, without needing my rescue inhalers. I took my Ventolin 4 or 5 times a day, plus so many other asthma meds, plus allergy pills, to control my asthma, which is allergy and exercise induced. Um, I still take allergy pills. I still have bad allergies. That hasn't changed. But weightless doesn't change allergies, so. And I apologize about the hair. I am 53 years old. I don't normally wear braids in my hair. But I am, I've been trying on a lot of different clothing and um, doing a video showing you some clothes that used to fit me that no longer fit me. So it was just easier to put it in braids rather than having to keep brushing it because it's going all out. And also, I wanted to show you. And I apologize for the lighting in here. Um, it looks really bright coming through that window. It's not. It's a gray day. I don't know about this illusion of the light coming through on the camera. But look at the regrowth, you guys. Can you see that? So my regrowth is a few inches long now. And this is not just underneath here. It's it's like all throughout my whole head. Um, you can kind of see the, sh the short ones blinking out on the top. I have sideburns now. That's all regrowth on both sides. I usually try to tuck it in. So, um, but you can really notice it here. So yeah. There's a long strand that doesn't belong, but that's the regrowth. So it makes it really hard because it's all over my hair. It's like it's all over my whole head and it gets tangled with the longer hair. So usually we, I wear my hair in a ponytail or sometimes two braids is easier because I get headaches. So that's what I'm doing. So I apologize. I know I'm too old for braids, but it's just easier this way. So you guys, one year anniversary, third anniversary. I am so excited about that. It's been a year. So let me give you my, um, my weigh-in today was exactly the same as last week. So I weigh 170 pounds and I almost didn't. I almost had to come to you with a gain. Um, I went up to 174 midweek because it was my mom's birthday and we went for Chinese food. And I ordered some um, chicken balls and I didn't eat the coating on, on two of the chicken balls. I had three chicken balls. So I ate the coating on one chicken ball because it was so good. And I had this sweet and sour sauce on the side. So I just dipped my fork in it for like a taste. So I didn't have it slathered over anything. But I was able to eat three chicken balls. They were so good. So two of them without the coating, just the chicken. And the other one with the coating. And I also had some of that um, 
what is it called? Chop suey? Like, it's like bean sprouts, celery, onion. I don't know what else. It's just a vegetable. So I think the sodium content in that was really high. Plus, I added soy sauce to that. So the next day, my weight was over 174 from 170. It went up almost five pounds. I think it was like 170 point. 174.8 or something. I was freaking out. But I've been good other than that. I've been like really low calorie yesterday and, and um, the day before because I was trying to make up for it because I didn't want to come to you with the game. Um, I think yesterday I just had, I, I had a premier protein, but not by itself, just mixed in coffee and tea, but one whole premier protein throughout the day as whitener in my coffee, decaf in my tea. And, um, what did I eat? I, I had some kind of meat. Oh, I had steak, just and no other carbs. So my no carbs at all yesterday. Today I haven't had any carbs at all. I don't plan on eating any carbs. I do want to still get below 170. I was hoping to get below 170 by today, but to be honest, I'm just happy I'm back to 170. I would have cried if I had to come to you and say I was like 174.8. I mean, even yesterday it was 172. So I think. I'm at a plateau. I've been struggling with this between 170 and 175 for a while now. So I'm going to have to really go low carb for a while, I think, um, to get past it. This, I think, is pretty common this far out. I'm down 134 pounds, and that's a lot of weight. So I, I, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I do retain water. Um, so you can see my fingers are really puffy. Um, I retain water in here. I retain water in my face. I retain water in my feet and ankles. So that was one thing I wanted to tell you. The other thing are my measurements. So please bear with me. I'm just going to pull this up so I won't be able to see. Um, oh, maybe I can still see the camera. Let me see. Hello? Yeah, I can still see. So from when I started until now, I've lost 134 pounds. I have lost... 12 inches, that's a whole foot on my chest. Isn't that crazy? 12 inches, you know, when you measure yourself like around. I've lost 15 inches on my waist, you guys. That's over a foot, like 15 inches. Okay, the best, the most is 17 inches off my hips. 17 inches. My thighs, I lost 11.5 inches from each thigh. I lost only 1.5 inches from each ankle, but I retain water, and my ankles are really swollen right now. I'll show you. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I can't see the camera, but my ankles are super swollen right now. Sorry about the feet. But Oh, and that's another thing. Do you think I could have lifted my foot like this before? And there's no way. I mean, I'm pretty flexible now. My calves, I lost 4 inches off of each calf. My upper arms, 4.5 inches. They're still very big. I, I really need to uh, work on toning these up better. And my belly, when you measure right around your belly button, I've lost 16 inches. So in a little bit over a year, I have lost 103 inches off of my entire body. That's a lot of inches. So 134 pounds and 103 inches. That is absolutely crazy. I never would have expected such good results when I started this. Um, yeah, never. So that's just really exciting for me. All right. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. The weight and the inches. I want to talk about exercise. As you know, I like walking, swimming, and bike riding. But by far, my favorite is bike riding. Now, I mean outdoor bike, not the exercise bike indoors. I hate that. I like that I have the opportunity to use it. Um, but Riding outside is, it's like being a child again. I can't tell you how much I love it. The wind in my face, exploring new places, um, seeing the world at a slower pace than in a car, but a faster pace than walking is really nice. And for me, because my asthma is triggered very much by cigarette smoke, sometimes when I'm walking, I get behind smokers and I'm not fast enough to pass them. And uh, on my bike, it's very easy to pass the smokers. So even if I do get around smokers, I can go around them and I'd be away from them in minutes before it affects my asthma. Whereas when I'm walking, even if I'm behind someone for like three minutes and they're smoking, I will get sick and have an asthma attack. So bike riding is just awesome. And I can't wait to go bike riding again this, this spring. I can't wait. But we still have like about five feet of snow out there. We have 
we had a whiteout today. There's just so much snow. So I didn't even go for a walk today, you guys. But I am missing swimming. I'm not swimming, bike riding. Now swimming, that's the other thing. I have to get back to swimming. I think I'm kind of putting it off because I don't like the way my thighs look and my upper arms look anymore because I do have some loose skin. Not a lot, but I just don't like it. You will, well, if you haven't already seen that in the videos, you'll see that. And next, we're going to be doing some body shots, okay? One minute. <coughs> you saw in the video that I was so happy I had to lose 50 pounds about or 30 or 50 I don't remember to fit into this top but it's in the video and you can see how big it is here I've got it tied exactly where it was tied when I wore it last so this tie came all the way into my waist before so that if I pull that out like, that's how far out my, my waist would have been. Like, I don't know if I can. So, but check it out. And this I had to lose weight to fit into. So, yeah. It's like falling off. And I did almost two kilometers today. I'm feeling much better. I have a lot more energy. Hi, guys. And you saw this in the video, too. And I was so happy when this first started getting big on me, and I thought it was big, but look at it now. Um, my hands are here, and my body is here. So, check it out. So, I still love this shirt. Um, when I ordered it, I was feeling really depressed, and it says, Love yourself first. Always keep fighting. And it was sold by um, Samadine Winchester, a.k.a. Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki, in order to raise money for mental health. And I thought that was good. Um, I think they put the money towards a suicide hotline, something like that. And I was feeling really depressed when I bought it and very hopeless about how big I was. And um, I loved it when it came in. It was so nice and warm. And... I still love it, and I'm not going to ever give this one away. I'm going to keep this forever, and I still wear it when I get cold. I wear it in the house just like this. I love it. It's so nice and warm and cozy. Here's another body shot taken in my bathing suit at 18 weeks post-op. I was down 87 pounds at this point, and I was really happy about that, and these were the three new bathing suits that I bought. Swimming was a big part of my weight loss, and um, I really enjoyed it a lot. Here's another body shot taken when I had lost about 120 pounds, I believe. I'm not sure. And this body shot is from 41 weeks post-op. I was 125 pounds down here. So, and I really like this dress. I only wore it twice so far, but it still fits, and I plan on wearing it again. Um, soon, I hope. Okay, guys, before I change, I just want to show you this. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit. These were my favorite track pants that I wore all the time before surgery. They're a size 4X. So, here's the back. So, yeah. I wish this top was a little bit more form-fitting. Let me just try to tuck it in at the back. So, you can kind of see that. There's a big difference there. And these were some of my favorite pants that were not track pants before surgery. So, and these were also a size 4X. These were from Pennington's. And these pants look almost exactly the same, but they're from Walmart. They're the George brand. And these were the size 24 women's. 
and these were too tight for me. I mean, when I put them on, I was like a sausage in a casing. These are about two inches um, less wide than the other black pants that I just held up. So, but I didn't want to buy the size 26 because I knew I was having surgery. So I didn't, but I, I should have because they would have fit better. And these like, these dug into me and when I took them off, I had red marks and everything. So now these pants that I'm wearing are also the George pants. They're the exact same brand, exact same style from Walmart, but they're size 12. So here's the size 24. I'm just going to lift up my shirt. And these are the size 12 that I'm wearing. So they're, they're half the size of this. And you can't see because they're black and the lighting is in here isn't good, but they're, they're getting loose already. I'm almost ready for size 10. So, but I don't like to wear tight clothes, so I'll wait another five or 10 pounds maybe. But they're very baggy in the butt and they're baggy in the crotch area, um, like right here. You can't see because they're black, but they kind of don't look good because of all the bag. The, the, uh, the waist kind of falls down a little bit, but they still fit okay. I can still wear them, but like my underwear, if I don't wear black underwear with them, you can see my underwear because they kind of fall down. And, and I never tuck things in because of my belly. But yeah, so that's, so now I will come right back. Okay, guys, I can't believe I could do this, but I've got these pants on. I fit in one leg, and um, here's the other leg. So yeah, one year, that's the difference. I'm half of me. So that's how wide my, well, probably not because I would have filled out this way too. But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> it's very hard to walk like this. Well guys, it has been an amazing year. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Really, it's been such a wild ride. And I want to thank you all for joining me for um, giving me so much support. It's meant the world to me. I, sometimes I'm having a bad week and I think, you know, how am I going to do this? And then I think about doing my videos and I want to have something nice to say on my video. So if I don't feel like working out or maybe following my diet the way I should, thinking about the video that I have to do it makes me do it so that I can come to you and say, here, here's what I did. And that has made such a difference to me. Um, so thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And I'm really enjoying watching all of your journeys too. And if you're new out there and you haven't yet decided to have weight loss surgery, do your research. And if you think it's right for you, go for it. I don't regret one minute of this. It's the best thing I've ever done in my whole life. All right, everybody. Take care and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time. Bye.